right, boys. Well, who doesn't love a hot pie when you're traveling on the road? We're gonna cook them in this new maxi track oven and see how long they take to cook. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Chase the Weekend. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, this this week we've got a brand new product from Maxi Tracks, their 12 volt travel oven. Now, if you haven't heard of Maxi Track before, not Max Tracks, but Maxi Track, Maxi Track are Repco's uh, their own brand of four drive accessories and camping gear and stuff like that. And they brought out a travel oven and it was on special, so I grabbed one and I'm keen to see what they look like and how they work. So. If you stick around today, we're gonna cook some pies and tell you how long they take, and we're gonna see if we can work out the draw that this thing uses uh, and see what it's all about. What have we got here? All right, so we got the new uh, oven, so we're gonna open it up and see what you get nice. in there. And um, what, what plug does it have on it? I don't know, we better find oh, out. Does it come with a tray? I don't know. <laughs> Let's <laughs> find to open it up. All right. We got it off. Actually, you would think it would tell you on the box, wouldn't you? Packaged well. Oh, I can see grey. Well, straight away. That's exciting because someone's actually thought about it and we don't have to change that plug from a uh, Siga, set, Siga plug to um, Ando. So already that's good. That's a good thing because it's ready to go. I wonder if this is a cookbook. <laughs> no. Well, we got manual. Just a manual with some deets. Some of the... Uh, Different info. We'll, go through, we'll go through the specifications shortly. Got a couple of little mounting brackets there, so you can you can mount them down onto the floor, or you can hang it from something. That is pretty cool. Hmm. You like that? Ooh, the back of it's pretty boring. Oh, the other thing too is it's got a fuse. So I actually went to um, Tent World the other day, shout out to Tent World, uh, to have a look at ovens and they have their own brand and then they had uh, Road Tech and they had um, the Travel Buddy. And they all looked identical to be honest with you. They're all pretty much the same oven as far as I could see with just different price points. Um, so this one does look a little bit different, like the controls are on the top. Um, but one thing I do like is it's got a clear glass um, door on it so you can see what's in there and what's happening. So that'll be interesting to see how, how well that wears, but um, that's a pretty handy feature to be able to see in there. It's got a good little clasp there to make sure that that stays shut while you're traveling. So it's not going to pop open or anything like that. It's pretty sturdy. Got your two trays. Right, not, not moving around easily, so that's good. What's up the top there? Oh, that's the stainless. <laughs> now, what everybody wants to know, guys, will it cook a pie? Will it cook a pie, and how long? <laughs> All right, well, let's get some pies in there and see uh, how long they take, and we'll see what sort of um, power we're drawing and stuff yep. like that. And well, that's that's probably the most important thing yeah. for the travellers out there. Is yep. How much power is it going to use? Yep. Does it take forever to cook stuff? It's yep. probably not so bad if it takes, you know, if a conventional oven takes an hour to cook something and this takes two hours, that's okay if, while you're yep. driving. But the main thing will be the the power what draw. Sort of power you using, Make sure yeah. you got enough in your batteries. Yep. All right, let's do it.
Right, so we've just plugged the little watt meter in. Um, it's just a little device to measure power flow and consumption. And currently we're looking at 128 watts and 10, 10.6 amps. So what we'll do is we'll let it go for the time period. This will also tell us what the uh, accumulative power is as well. So we'll be able to see how much power we've actually used as well as instantaneous. So check back in a minute. Three hours later. Right, while your chips are cooking, we're gonna do loaded fries, and there's no reason why you can't do this while you're out camping. I'm gonna show you, super simple. Um, so we need a little pot, a uh, bit of butter in the pot, uh, a bit of flour. I don't have the exact, I don't have the exact sizes, but that doesn't matter. We we'll just work it out and see how it goes. A bit of flour in there, and we're gonna cook that off. Right, so we've cooked that down. Just cook that for a minute. Just want to get rid of the flour taste. Of it. Turn that down a little bit, so we're slowly going to add a bit of milk in there. Get a little bit of pan in there. <laughs> a pan flake. While that's going on, we want a bit of diced bacon cooking. Straight in there. Beautiful. Turn your heat down because that's starting to thicken. And then we're going to add the cheese. And we just want that cheese to melt in. That's getting good. That's nice and thick. You probably could make it a little bit thinner than that. And then the last thing you've got to do is we want some shallots. Now I don't have a chopping board, I'm just using a plate, but that's alright. Alright, time to pull these chips out though, ready. It's been about, what, two hours would you say? Yeah, probably about that. It's been a bit of time. Have a go of that. So good. Loaded fries out camping. There's no reason why you can't have loaded fries while you're camping. Oh, it's hot. I'm going to put that down. Shh. Someone let the dogs out in the creek, but that's all right. Have a go at this yourself. Uh, it's pretty easy to make. You can do it on the track. If you've got a nice little pie oven like that, there's no reason why you can't cook hot chips while you're on the road. Right, let's give the uh, pies a go. Oh yeah, they're pretty warm actually. Crunchy on top. Warm in the middle. Should we give it a go on? Give it. A... Oh yeah, it's pretty hot. Pretty good. Yep. You could probably do it for another probably 20 minutes, half an hour, but that's pretty good. You could smash that if you're hungry out on the track somewhere. So during the filming of this, I was a little bit skeptical of how long it took to cook a pie. I thought maybe uh, it had to be broken in or something like that, like a good horse. So 
I mounted it in the back of the car. I was going away for a weekend and I thought I'd give it a try and in the name of research I went through a packet of pies. And let me tell you, about 50 minutes on 180 degrees is the perfect time. I cooked one for a little bit longer, like over an hour, and it was rock hard on the bottom and it was super hot to eat, but 50 minutes is good. And that's literally me putting in a uh, thawed out pie straight in, cold oven, up to 180, 50 minutes, mint. Well, there you go. Are well, you still going? Pretty good pies. Good. Well, there's a little test of how this oven goes and how well it works. And look, I reckon it's a th double thumbs up for me. It's a goer. It's definitely a goer. Yeah. I think like there was probably a couple of hours there. Obviously the magic of TV, you didn't have to watch for two hours, but um, these are obviously definitely designed for on the go traveling, aren't they? Yep, you know, it's you, you get on the road, chuck your stuff in at morning tea for that you want to have in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, just be patient, ready to go when you get there. Like at the end of the day, it's a, it's a 12 volt oven. So you got to expect that things are going to take a bit longer than when you're at home. Yeah, but definitely. If you chuck your stuff in in the morning before, you, as you head out, it'll be done by lunchtime. Yeah, definitely. You know? oh, or good. you know, if you want to cook a, a couple of palmies for dinner, chuck them in at lunchtime. That's it. On the road, where you go. I think that's the thing too. Just be aware. Like, probably do it while you're driving because you know, have it, it, otherwise you use it. it. We did check that. Um, so we did check, the, keep an eye on the watt meter the whole time, and it's pretty much stayed yep. the same the whole time, hasn't it? Yeah. So really a, as it stated, it's pretty close to. 120 watt hours consumption, so yeah, yeah 12, 10 amps or something for the whole time that it's running, which is it's okay. It's pretty easy to for your car to compensate for yeah. that. Or if you stopped up at camp, you know, 160 watt solar panel or 200 watt solar panel will cover that off easy. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, there you go. Leave us a comment if uh, you like that or if you got one of these and you've giving it a go it's pretty good give us one of these as well give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if it's your first time thanks for joining us today and uh, if you're interested in other shenanigans that we get up to make sure you check out our other videos um, we cater for a lot of things we do a lot of tips and tricks yeah. so if it's your first time we do camping tips and tricks we do some day trips Got some 12, of couple of reviews, reviews like 12 volt videos, yep. which will go in hand in hand with these sorts of videos. So uh, make sure you check those out. And remember, the weeks are long, but the weekends are short. So chase the weekend. Gotcha.